Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. Now this is an M43 and the reason I know it's an M43 is because that's an 8 inch howitzer. The short fat barrel tells me that that's an 8 inch howitzer. And this one is on the north spawn of Cliff and it's being commanded by Kento. And you've seen some of his replays before and some of them have been quite good fun. Now the battle has commenced and we're about to move. Yep. Kento's moving. Now they only built 418 M40 and 48 M43s but the the chassis designed on a, a M4 chassis uh, was interchangeable so you could either fit the 155 millimeter gun which went on the M40 or the M43 could carry uh, or you could fit the 8 inch outer onto it and it would become an M43 and they converted uh, 24 M40s into M43s. Okay, right. Kento's found his firing position. And he's looking for a target. And he's found one. He's right at the edge of his field of fire, though. A T44. That might cause reticule bloom if he has to move his aim slightly to the left. But he's fired on that T44. And he's got a splash hit. 434 hit points and he's relocating straight away. Oh, that was a, that's a round from the enemy RT. They know where he is. They've seen his uh, tracer. Now, he has got a fairly long reload. That's the problem. With this particular RT, you do have... The 8-inch howitzer does have a long reload, but it has a big hit. So it compensates for that long reload with big strike power. In fact, actually, the M43, the 8-inch house can do 1,050 hit points of damage if it gets a direct hit. And he's got a T26E5 there. Was it an E5? I think it was an E4, actually. Super Pershing. But there's a T30, a very dangerous opponent. And he fires a round out. And he gets 142 hit points of damage. And he's relocating by pulling back, just in case the enemy RT is, low, is watching. Okay, he's still reloading. You can see there's some big shots being exchanged along the West Passage. But he's going to change his field of view to the, uh, to the uh, area near the cent uh, center, near the, uh, the Clifton Lighthouse. Um, because there are some big targets here. A Type 4 Heavy round out. And as soon as he fired, he moved. And there, see, an enemy shell came in. Wasted that shell, they did, because he's relocating. He's got a 39 second reload on this RT. But the enemy RT is definitely trying to kill him. It's either the FB207 or the FB3805. They are definitely looking at this spot, trying to work out where he is. But every time he fires, he immediately relocates to avoid being hit. Right, FB4202 moving very rapidly there. Can he get a shot into him? He stopped to shoot and... Round out. Now he needs to move. Oh, 468 hit points. And he's relocating straight away. Moving back. Now I hope the enemy doesn't work out that he is just moving backwards and forwards. Because if they do, they'll fire at where they think he might have moved back to. But uh, I don't think he'll, he will be at risk. Because uh, even if you're just moving backwards and forwards, they still have to work out exactly where you are. Although a splash would certainly help. Now, a lot of tanks have gone around the cliff. And they're engaging uh, Kento's team as they come around. But there's that defender. And he's facing off against that M4A1 Revelerise. Oh, he got a big hit there. Big hit into that defender. 269 hit points. But he also picked up some stun assist there. 501 hit points. And that Striv came in next door to, uh, uh, to Kento. Um, and although he might be there at the back of the map acting as a defense. The thing is, he is at risk of being counter-batteried or hit by... The enemy RT if they spot his uh, shell fire. Right, there's a Schwartz Panzer 58 and a Type 4 Heavy. Now, the Schwartz Panzer's got more hit points to hit, but I think he'll kill the Type 4 Heavy if he fires at it. 
He's going to go for the Schwartz pads. So round out. No. Oh, he did hit it. 1,018 hit points. He got 1,018 hit points from that strike. He effectively has reduced that Schwartz Panzer to virtually no hit points at all. Yet look, he's only got 282 left and he's gone. That was a brilliant shot. Now, and in fact, actually, the Schwartz Panzer has gone down now. He's been destroyed by the IS 6, and so is the Type 4 Heavy. So, really, the enemy now, although there's only two tanks ahead, they've taken out a lot of their, uh, their heavy tanks. And there's that defender. Okay, dials in, rounds out. Oh, big hit! 395 hit points and some uh, stun. Now, we don't see from the enemy RT now, because I think they're occupied. They're too busy trying to fend off the heavies. And the defender goes down and he's taken out by the M5355. Who happens to be down in the dip on Grid Square A1. Right, there's a T30, a tank destroyer. And he's virtually, well he is full health. 100% health. And he's motoring to try and defend against the tanks that are coming down. Uh, but Kento's almost ready to shoot. And he's going to go for the T26E4 instead. That was the one that was guarding the Western Pass. Fires the round in. And he got a 432 hit point hit that time. And in fact, actually, he got a fire as well. 324 hit points on the fire. And that brings up an arsonist badge. Because he actually took the tank out. So he got another kill. That's In fact, that's his first kill. And there's a Scorpion G there, but unfortunately there's an enemy just the other side of that hill. It's the FB4202, and the Striv is coming along to try and take him out. Okay, Kento's trying to get a solution so he can shoot at him from the side. He's dialing in, round out. Oh no, he, he fired too premature actually, I'm afraid. But he is moving back just in case the enemy is still watching. It's got a long reload now to wait, and all the time that FB4202 is a threat. But I think the Striv is going to deal with him. The Striv's still full strength, and that FB4202 is now on just 1% of his health left. 10 hit points. It's a splash kill. If, if, if Kento can get the round. Oh, he doesn't need to. The Striv's dealt with him. Right, now it's just one enemy RT left and it's the FB3805. So I don't think uh, Kento has to worry about counter battery anymore. And I can see a round going in there near those bushes. There he is. Okay, Kento can get the honours and also get revenge. But he doesn't need to because the E75 kills the last remaining enemy. Wow, that was an efficient battle. A uh, very good one. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats for this one. And it's an ace tanker for Kento. He put in a lot of effort. You saw with that Schwarzpanzer. He really did hammer that Type 58 uh, Schwarzpanzer. Um, took a huge chunk out of him by hitting him on his rear. I think he actually put the shell onto the engine deck of that uh, tank. Which is why it suffered so heavily. Uh, and he also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least 5 critical hits. Quick pass stations or module damage. He burnt to death the T26E4 Super Pershing. Um, by setting fire to him. And that picks up an arsonist badge. And lastly he picked up a gauze medal. Because he did more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. And we can see the Schwarzpanzer hit. <laughs> yeah, 1018 hit points off one strike. Um. He did a lot of damage to that defender as well. He managed to get 664 out of him from two shots. Uh, but the strike on the Schwarzpanzer was pretty amazing, really, because that was a full strength tank. And he reduced it to basically a one shot after that. Um, and it was taken out uh, shortly afterwards. So really good work there. Let's have a look at the uh, team score. Well, he came highest on damage, 3,482 hit points of damage, but he didn't get the high caliber. No, that went to the Type 4 Heavy on the enemy team. Uh, although, actually, no, he didn't pick up the high caliber. Uh, he's only showing 3,630 hit points, but for some reason uh, he didn't get it. Now, maybe down to the fact that uh, he didn't get 20% of the enemy hit points, um, and that's why he just didn't qualify for the high caliber. But uh, Kento managed to get the highest damage on his team. 
He didn't get the highest number of kills. He actually came joint third with only one kill, um, a little way down the table. But when it came to base XP, he was tops with 1,136, and that's why he got the ace tanker. He fired nine rounds, only nine eight-inch caliber rounds, but he got five direct hits, five penetration, and three splash. So he was very effective on his accuracy. He did damage of 3,482 hit points. Of all of it was more than 300 meters. He hit six of the enemy, more than a third of the enemy team. In fact, that was uh, two thirds of the enemy team, uh, but managed to get only one kill out of it. That was the super pershing that he set alight. He also did 2,609 hit points of stun assist off eight stuns. On a premium account, he earned 58,121 credits, but because the 8-inch caliber shells are rather expensive, uh, it cost him 16,830 credits to fire it, and he took away 41,291 credits, and that's still a very good score. He received 1,704 XP, but it was times two for the first victory of the day, so he actually took away 3,408 experience points in total. So, yes, uh, it was a good ace and gauze battle, but yeah, yeah, he was dodging the counter battery. I don't know which one of them was the one that was actually firing those counter battery shots, but he was being very good. And so long as Kento kept moving, and that's the good thing about the high tier RT, you do have plenty of time on your hands, so you can move immediately after you fire. And Kento did the right thing. He kept out of the way. Uh, he didn't just sit in the same spot. Uh, he did relocate immediately just in case the enemy was watching and the enemy was watching because Kento was using one of the most used positions on in that game. The other is in the dip or the other side of the cap area uh, but obviously that arty knew that he was there because he could see the tracer and was firing the rounds in. So well done Kento for avoiding those shells and picking up an ace tanker. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.